Hi everyone, it is the second to last presidential update. I've only got about 31 days left in my presidency, which means you only have about 28 days or so before our annual premiere event. So if you haven't registered yet for Vancouver, I don't know what you're waiting for, get online and do it. And if you haven't booked your hotel, you need to hurry up because rooms are going fast. So uh, what's new? Monday was April 1. I think it's important for all of us with our board certification to remember that that's when our annual self-assessment opens for the American Board of Plastic Surgery. We're gonna include a link here. Everybody go on and do it. As you know, it's only 30 questions. It goes really fast. You'll learn something interesting, I promise you. Regardless, get it done sooner. We only have 30 days. So in addition to the self-assessment, what else is going on? Uh, we are quickly advancing the work to launch our new membership category, which is called the Allied Pro. This is aimed specifically at clinical staff, RNs, PAs, nurse practitioners, medical aesthetics, physicians, and aestheticians, and office staff. While we had launched our aesthetic care team team affiliate program a few years ago, it wasn't actually a membership category. So we are eager to move those individuals into Allied Pro and now proactively develop and market member-only benefits unique to the needs of these learning gaps that these mid-level clinical staff have, as well as our office staff and the estheticians. The membership category will allow the society to take our prominent position in the, in the aesthetics market and leverage our decades of educational credibility by paving increased customer confidence and recognition with our allied members. While the Allied Pro are not bony members of the society, we will give them a home so that they have somewhere to land, they have somewhere and someone to guide them in their educational journey. They are a huge piece of aesthetics. We can't provide everything that they do, so we need to help provide them with excellence in education. We are launching this in the weeks leading up to the Vancouver meeting, and we're excited to see this program evolve in the coming year and benefit by expanding our society's brand awareness and loyalty from this new allied professional community. I plan on being the first person to sign up my entire office as soon as this category opens. Stay tuned. So now I know you all want to see pictures of my cats, but before that, you're going to see some pictures of travel. March was a very busy month. And in fact, I've only recently got back from India. So you're only going to see part of the India trip. I'm saving some of that for our next update in three weeks. I started off March 8th through the 10th at the Mountain West meeting in Whistler at the Fairmont Chateau. A winter storm had dumped six feet of snow the week before, so there was great skiing, although also some pretty long lift lines. I got to watch the Mountain West Society president get his new belt buckle, which is something they do in their society versus a medallion like we do. And I was reminded that Rich Baynosa, the Mountain West president, was Bill Zamboni's last partner that he hired, whereas I was his first partner he hired. And Bill was definitely an innovator that we lost too soon. Rest in peace, Bill Zamboni. After I got home from Whistler on the 10th, the next week on March 13th through the 16th, I traveled to the American Plastic Surgery Society, AMCPER, in Merida, Mexico. I was the guest of the first woman president of the Mexican Society, Dr. Berta Torres Gomez. It was an incredible turnout. 92% of Mexican plastic surgeons showed up for this meeting. They had numerous international colleagues as well. They sent us on a tour of the Mayan ruins of Uxmal. I've included a picture of that here. As president, I got to preside over the Aesthetic Society Symposium, which had numerous ones of our members on it, including past president Jim Grotting. And I was also presented with a Global Partner Award, and then we were whisked off to the Mayan ruins. So I returned home on the 16th to very insulted cats, and just about the time they'd forgiven me, I left for India on March 24th. While at the Indian Symposium, I was given another award after completing my oration, which was on the plastic surgery myths that have occurred and even been proven false during my, my time as an attending plastic surgeon. Kind of an interesting thing to think about how many things have been proven wrong compared to what we thought we knew to be true. Also, while in India, we had amazing uh, 
parties every night, great learning every day. Cultural night, I got to wear a sari and former President Bill Adams was there dressed in Indian attire. Be sure you check out the pictures below. You do not want to miss these pictures. I'm telling you right now. The Indian president, Dr. Aditya Agarwal, was an exceptional host, as was his wife, Pooja Sharma. We did shopping at Dilly Hot. We uh, did yoga every morning with an actual Delhi yogi and his team at the hotel. I have to say, India was really an incredible trip. One, I did not appreciate how much I was going to enjoy. The people were incredibly open, happy, and kind. They were very inclusive and made sure I got a good uh look and impression of their country. Uh, they also arranged a trip for me to the Taj Mahal. Now, no pictures of that here. Those will be at the end of the month for our next update. So hurry up and register for the meeting. In closing, register for the meeting and please contribute to the Career Achievement Award for Dr. Lori Cassis before it's too late. There is a link below. And finally, there are two pictures of two very depressed cats the day I left for India. So until next time, which will be the last time, see you soon and register for Vancouver.